This is the man police believe fired the shots that killed Jade Panayoto. Prosecutors will argue that Sizwe Sake Bumazonke was paid to kill the young teacher by her husband, Christopher. On Monday, Christopher appeared in this same courtroom on charges of plotting the kidnapping, robbery and murder of a woman he'd been in an 11-year relationship with. Like Christopher Panayoto, Vuma Zonkwe has chosen not to apply for bail. But unlike Panayoto, Vuma Zonkwe has chosen to speak during his court appearance. He's responded to questions from Magistrate Jan van der Westezen about the apparent bruising on his face. Authorities have told us that Vuma Zonke allegedly tried to run away during his arrest on Sunday and have suggested that that may have been the cause of his facial bruising. Vuma Zonke's claims of assault against the police, they say, can only be investigated if and when he lays a charge. Port Elizabeth police are, however, not making any formal comment on the issue. Karen Morn, Port Elizabeth.